Um, all right, so we're ready to start marking out our mud sills. Um, actually, we need to make sure our, that our anchor bolts are straight first. Um, if we started to mark out our um, mud sills, um, the marks on the sills won't be perfectly straight. Um, it'll make a little bit more sense here when we start uh, marking them. Uh, but you want to um, make sure that all of your anchor bolts are perfectly perpendicular to the foundation. Um, you can see this guy here is a little bit crooked. Um, so you wanna walk around and make sure that you don't have any of these guys. Uh, it's really, really important um, that you don't uh, hurt the threads on these guys. Um, if you end up hitting these guys or um, basically mashing all the threads, your bolts won't go on and making these ineffective. Um, then you gotta bust apart your foundation to put in a new anchor bolt or drill a new anchor bolt. Um, so one really good tip um, to protect your bolt is to put on a nut and then you can use your hammer um, to hit that nut and then you won't hurt your threads. So you don't have to go real wild with this. You just want to bring it back into square real lightly. Kind of take a step back and check. And now we're perpendicular again. So what we want to do is just take a real quick look. Looks like most of these are pretty good. I see one over here that could probably do a little adjustment. Put the nut on, protect those threads. Bring it back to square. So now we're gonna be um, marking our mud sills here for the boat locations. Um, and the easiest way to accomplish this is to just take one of the mud sills. Is that, do you want that end? And then we're gonna rest it on top of our bolts here. So what we wanna do here, these guys are pre-cut. Um, remember our house that we're building here is eight foot by 12 foot. Um, this guy's exactly 12 foot long. This is gonna be the perimeter of our house. And what you'll wanna do is sight straight down to our guidelines and make sure we're resting right on that line. And it looks like we're pretty straight here. Now, this has to be pretty accurate, but we're gonna drill our bolt hole just a little bit wider so we'll have a little leeway here um, for once it's actually on the bolt and on the uh, concrete. So what you'll wanna do is find the bolt underneath, put your hammer right over it, and then just tap a few times and that's gonna put an indention right where that bolt goes. And you'll know once you drill it and put this on, your hole will be right in the right spot. AJ will find that one. And then Azad will do the one on the end. All right, so now if we flip this guy over, you should be able to see here right where those bolts go. It's one indention right there. One indention right there, and Zod's got the one on the end. So, Azad has a spade bit. Um, is that a 5 eighths inch bit? So general rule of thumb is you'll want to go 1 8 inch over the diameter of your bolt. We have half inch anchor bolts here. Um, so AJ is using a 5 8 bit. Again, that's going to give you a little um, movement when you're trying to line it up right to the line. And notice how uh, AJ has moved the sill away from the concrete so you're not drilling right into the concrete. It's a really good way to mess up your bits really quick. All right, so now that we have our um, sill plate drilled out, we're gonna flip it over here, um, put it back on the anchor bolts, find the hole. And you can see, since we uh, marked those holes out right where they were located with the hammer, they fit perfectly. Um, so the next thing we'll want to do is just double check that we have our 7 16 inch overhang all the way around and it's looking pretty good. Um, 
So we'll now be able to do the exact same thing on all three other ones that are remaining. Um, so AJ, you want to help this eight foot one here? All right, going to throw it on top of the bolts here again. AJ is going to hold it right on the edge of that board. Looking good. Again, we're going to sight straight down um, to our chalk line. Looking good. All right. And then Azad, do you want to mark the bolts? All right. We'll drill those out. All right. So now that AJ has that drilled out, he'll flip it over. And this one should fit perfectly just like the last. All right, looks good. All right, so we'll do the same thing with this one over here. Put it right on top of the bolts. Zad, do you wanna line that one up? All right. Notice how Azad, now that we have that first one laid in, we're taking all of our uh, measurements off that board. Um, it's just a little bit more accurate than trying to go off this chalk line because um, you might accidentally hit that board over there. So we'll just go right off that board. And then Azad, do you have it flush? Perfect. Always double check our work. Sight. Down, looks good, AJ. All right, another perfect fit. So then we'll go with this last one here. the sills fit. So two things here. We got, um, when we showed up, we didn't have, or we didn't put the anchor bolts in. Um, the concrete contractor did that for us. Um, so one important thing to note, um, you should always um, double check that you always have an anchor bolt within the first foot of each corner and that your anchor bolts are no further than six foot apart. That's pretty common cold for um, wherever you're at in the country. Um, but you should always double check um, with your local codes just to make sure.